Hi, this is Jonathan, Michael, Krista, and Samantha, also known as the Chaotic Cat Herders, and this is our TV show, Charlie and the Salty Dilemma. The purpose of our TV show is to provide our viewers with a sequel to the childhood favorite of many, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, while showing a more in-depth look into the Chocolate Factory and the business side of things. We'll be showing the managerial skills needed to run a successful factory, and we will show how Charlie picks up on these skills and grow throughout the series to be a successful owner of the Chocolate Factory. Throughout the season of our TV show, we will talk about and demonstrate management topics like managerial ethics, planning and organization, organizational structure, managing diverse human resources, and globalization. This is only the tip of the iceberg, and we hope to convey many more topics throughout the season in a very fun and easy to grasp manner. Just as a little refresher to our audience's memory about the events that occurred in Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, we'll include a small preface before beginning our show. Willy Wonka has allowed four children and their chaperones to tour and view his chocolate factory after being clouded in mystery for so long. Through their adventures through the factory, Charlie has successfully proven himself to be an honest and pure heir to Willy Wonka's chocolate factory, and things couldn't be better for Charlie. Charlie and his family has moved into the chocolate factory, and Charlie is now anxious to begin training and to learn the tools of the trade. Picking up right there, that is where we will jump right into our TV show. Now we'll introduce the main characters of our show. First, we have Charlie Bucket and Willy Wonka. Charlie is an incredibly virtuous, humble, responsible, helpful, and caring young boy. He is now the CEO in training to the Wonka Chocolate Factory and finds everything to be a little bit overwhelming. But Charlie has no doubt in his mind that the training programs implemented by Willy Wonka will make his transition be nothing short of smooth. He is not an aggressive person and his traits make him seem like the ideal future manager for the chocolate factory. It is without a doubt that everybody in the TV series will be fond of Charlie. Next, we have Willy Wonka and Willy Wonka is the eccentric founder of the Wonka Chocolate Factory and has recently gone into retirement and is in the midst of training Charlie to take over his factory. Willy is constantly traveling in his Wonka Vader going to exotic places and the things he brings back help impart wisdom on Charlie and help give him ideas for new products. Our next characters are Grandpa Joe and Veruca Salt. Grandpa Joe is an elder who has been full of life ever since Charlie chose him to accompany Charlie to Wonka's Chocolate Factory. He enjoys spending time with Charlie and is incredibly wise and loving. He also advises Charlie and gives him a lot of hope. Grandpa Joe is very sensible, which we believe he can teach to Charlie to make impactful decisions and not to make any rash decisions which could negatively affect the factory and those working around him. Last time we saw Ruth Grisalt, she was covered in trash. This time, she's back and she is still the cute and pretty young girl on the outside, but inside she is terribly rotten. She is a complete brat, immature, overindulged by her parents, and incredibly manipulative and constantly scheming. She is the main antagonist in our TV show, and she is the direct competitor of the Wonka Factory, and she will not stop until she has ruined Charlie and the Wonka Factory. Finally, our last characters are the Oompa Loompas, the iconic workers who live and work in the Chocolate Factory. They are short, mischievous beings who love to sing songs and improvise. They tend to speak in rhyme and are known for their love of cocoa beans. They are very meticulous workers and they are incredibly loyal to Willy Wonka and Willy Wonka employs them and pays them with cocoa beans. They are the only people to be employed at the factory and because of this, Willy Wonka has no fear of industrial espionage. Our first episode is titled Charlie's Journey of Managing the Chocolate Factory. As Charlie has won the opportunity to manage the chocolate factory, he must go through rigorous training before giving complete ownership of the factory. During this episode, Willy Wonka will train Charlie to effectively and efficiently run the factory. Charlie and Willy have begun their day bright and early, 
and Willie starts right off at the bases, telling Charlie that he'll have to manage his resources effectively, like the chocolate, before moving on to more extravagant candies and treats. Willie also tells Charlie that he does not have to feel like the burden is all on him. Willie reassures Charlie that the Oompa Loompas are very reliable and capable of having responsibilities delegated to them. Throughout this episode, Charlie will go through some management challenges, he will learn key management skills, and know that his role as a manager and delegating smaller management roles to others and knowing his responsibilities as well as those who work for him. Episode 2 is titled Sweet and Salt, Veruca Salt's Discourse. In the first movie, the snobby Veruca Salt did not win the opportunity to manage a chocolate factory and was banned from it. She seeks revenge on Charlie and Willy Wonka. Her family owns a candy factory just like Willy Wonka, but they treat their employees with bitterness and coolness. Veruca and her father secretly sends undercover agents to sneak in and retrieve the secret recipes from the Wonka factory, and also they are tasked with taking pictures of misleading harsh working conditions for Wonka's employees. They also write misleading health violation complaints against the Wonka factory. During this episode, we will see how Willy Wonka and Charlie are going to have to respond to this situation. They are in an ethical dilemma and must react ethically. Also, they have a social responsibility to the public in regard to the health violation. In episode 3, State of Sugar Overload, the Wonka press conference, we see that the next day after the complaints spread across town, Wonka delivers a press release to redeem his reputation. He urges the town not to panic and that things will be resolved soon. To ensure his reputation stays intact, he tells the public that he will become more transparent in his reporting and will set an example of himself by being more accountable for any other violations that may pop up. During the press conference, Willie spoke about his whistleblower program and strategic corporate policy. In episode 3, we can see managerial topics such as whistleblowing, making ethical choices, transparency, and social responsibility. Our fourth episode is the Team Chocolate Factory meeting. After Willie has decided to resolve the health code violation, he sets up a meeting with Charlie and Grandpa Joe to improve the chocolate factory. The meeting was to discuss how to redefine the company's strategic management process and to develop a competitive advantage. Charlie and Grandpa Joe provided tremendous insight on trending candy tastes and styles to look for, new development, and processes for the firm. Willy Wonka also wanted to address the issues of the Impa Loompas. Just as products are important to the factory, so are the Oompa Loompas. They want to talk about how to improve and uplift the Oompa Loompa structure by redesigning their organization and to manage their human resources more effectively. Concepts in this episode are managing diverse human resources, competitive advantage, planning and organization, and organizational structure and design. Episode 5 is Implementation Process Part 1, The Chocolate Improvement Project. In this episode, Willy Wonka and Charlie create a new way to extract cocoa beans and convert it into chocolate in a safe and more sanitary way. They purchase new equipment and invite experts on designing new processes to make chocolate. As this is going on, they are able to provide a superior chocolate taste and texture, giving a competitive advantage over any other factory and having the best quality chocolate in town. With the redesigning and of the chocolate extraction process, Willy Wonka and Charlie create a new strategic process to enter the market. They create a new manifesto that set the vision of the company, then they formulate a strategy on how to bring awareness of their new design chocolate to the public. In episode 5, we have specifically talked about setting a business vision, formulating and implementing strategies, and competitive advantage. In our sixth episode, our topics include socialization, training, job design, labor relation, and compensation. Episode 6 is titled Implementation Process Part 2, Oompa Loompa's Union. After addressing the first process, Willy Wonka and Charlie want to improve the labor relation with the Oompa Loompas. 
First, Willy Wonka and Charlie decentralized the business structure from a flat organization to a two-tier structure, allowing the Oompa Loompas more freedom to make management decisions. With the change in structure, certain social settings will allow the Oompa Loompas to be more flexible and knowledgeable. With this, there is going to be more training to be had and the new Oompa Loompas that were promoted will have to learn to work on the chocolate process and they will go through management training.